Hey, this is Tom from MNT Exotics. You're watching Fangs TV. Uh, today, basically, we'll just do a quick little video about how to sex your tarantula. That's probably the number one question I get is, um, is this large enough to sex, or do you know if this is male or female? Um, so, basically, we'll go over what exactly we're looking for um, and how to do this exactly. Um, so, like usual, um, we got a few tools we're going to need. Uh, I have a catch cup here. Uh, I have a long pair of tongs just in case. A uh, paintbrush would also work. And I have a spray bottle. Uh, you can use any run of the mill spray bottle, it doesn't matter. I've seen people do this technique also with uh, a few drops of dish soap to help uh, lubricate the molt, the exoskeleton a little bit. Um, I don't use it personally, but uh, I don't find any reason uh, against it. So one thing that we want to show you here first is um, basically how we can deal with our tarantula without ever having to put our hands in direct contact. And you can use this um, system with ones that are more defensive and this works just the same way. Um, you know, there's you know, not necessarily any need that you have to be scared of going into your enclosures and doing maintenance and stuff like that. So we're going in here to pull out a molt, but this could be for anything, pulling out dead food matter, or switching containers, or, you know, have it be. Um, so essentially our first step would to be get, getting her on a little bit flatter ground here. She's kind of near her hide. Um, so the first thing we want to do is place this catch cup over her, just very gently. Okay. So once the catch cup's on her, we have the lid to the cup. And we're just going to slide this under here ever so gently. Now anytime your tarantula molts, you always want to give it a week or two before you handle it or move it. Uh, just, for, just for them to harden up a little bit. Um, so just like that, you know, we didn't have to put our hands on the tarantula or near the tarantula. If we have more defensive species, yeah, they're going to rear up. As long as you drop that cup, I mean, you could drop that cup from a few inches away if you're, um, you know, a little bit more hesitant about it. Uh, so then we can go in here and do any kind of maintenance we want. So we're going to pull out the molt here. We want to be pretty uh, delicate with it since it's uh, very fragile at this point. We'll move our tank aside. We'll just okay. So the first thing that we're going to want to do here is just very gently mist this with some water. Uh, it's a very dry point here. Um, where if we were to take this apart, it would just pretty much crumple apart. So just give it a light misting like that. And we're just going to give it a, a minute or so, just here to uh, kind of re-moisten here. A little bit more water. Now with smaller molts, you may not want to uh, add as much water. Uh, because if it gets too soggy, that's also going to be an issue. So, give it a minute here. And what we're looking for is the spermaticate, uh, which is basically what is holding the sperm. Uh, the females hold the sperm um, after they mate, and then when she makes her egg sac, she's going to deposit that on top of the eggs. Uh, so basically, to determine that it's a female, we're going to look for those uh, spermaticate. Um, you're going to look like a flap inside of the abdomen area here, um, right next to the book lungs, and they're usually going to be like a light reddish color uh, with some white near it. And that will determine that it is female. So like I said, basically the area that we're looking for is right between the first two book lungs, they call that the epigastric furrow. And what we can see here is a small flap with a light red tinge to it. And basically what that's telling us is this tarantula is female. If this flap was not here, then that would determine that it was a male. So that's basically what we're going to be looking for. That flap right there. Now usually you can determine the sex of the tarantula um, once it's a few 
uh, inches large. Uh, I would say in the two to three inch range would be the best time. Um, so I'll just go ahead and take her out here just real quick just to show you how gorgeous she is after she molted. Um, of course she doesn't want to cooperate too much but we'll see if we can get her out. Now the Smithy are actually a very docile species. Um, people love them for their color. Um, they can uh, deal with slightly um, dry conditions. They are native to uh, uh, Mexico and the uh, countries around that area. Uh, but you just see such a great color and uh, they're very well known for being in movies and stuff like that. And uh, just an overall great tarantula. Alright, well I hope you like this episode of Fangs TV. Uh, I'm Tom from MNT Exotics, and I wish everyone a good day.